Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of a tool that I learned about at ISTE Live this year. It's called ClickView, and you can use it to add questions into any video. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. If you've used other tools like Edpuzzle, this is going to feel very familiar to you. So you can see here, I can scroll through and browse through all kinds of topics and look for all kinds of videos that I can then add questions to. Like, let's say we go to the arts category here, for example, and you'll notice that I'm in the elementary category right now. I can also select middle school or high school. And let's say I pick visual arts and then within visual arts, let's do art history and let's find a video. Like, oh, let's say, this one here that's 11 minutes long and i can then add questions into it by clicking make interactive so i can click on the make interactive button i'm going to select instant feedback And you can see here, I'm going to jump into, let's say, the one minute mark. And I can ask, let's say, a short answer question of my students and say something like, what are the names of these two men? And we'll save it. And then I can continue. Physical correlates with and I can go and add another question if I want maybe add in a multiple choice question or simply add an annotation into the video when I'm happy with that I can then publish This interactive and you can see here I can enable instant feedback for my students or turn that off and I have to review their answers before they get the feedback and I can also enable the option to prevent them from skipping ahead. And I can publish that interactive. And then I'll simply give my students the link down here to share it to any LMS that I want to use, including Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, Canvas, or any other LMS that you want to use, copy that, and I will now share that with my students so that they can watch the video and answer the questions. Now, I should also point out that if you go over here to my videos, you can upload a video of your own. So I have a video on my desktop here. And I'm going to upload my video. And then once uploaded, I'll be able to add questions into that video for my students to answer. So you can see now my video is uploaded. And let's go ahead and click on it and select Hi. the Make Interactive. And I'm going to do the classic quiz this time. And now I can Hi. scroll Hi. ahead to any portion of this video and add a multiple choice question. What kind of recipe is he searching for? Let's say fish tacos, chicken tacos, or chocolate chip cookies. And we'll save that question. And the answer there is fish tacos. Let's save that question. And then we can continue and add more questions if we like. Or if we're done, hit the publish button. And again, can make that interactive and prevent skipping ahead. And we'll publish it. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. And, this and share it with my students 
just like I did the previous video. So that's a short overview of clickview.net. It's a nice tool for adding interactive questions into videos you've made and videos you've found online. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit freetechforteachers.com.